What's going on everybody? Kenny Dopes here with a, another Mega Man X Dive offline event coverage video today. Let me go over the retake of the Candy Factory event. Uh, this event is also actually still live in the global version of the game, uh, so you can use this video as a guide for that. However, global version has buffed characters and weapons, so uh, there might be a little bit of minor differences between the characters and the weapons and what you can do. But other than that, it will be basically the same throughout the video. Real quick before we get too far into the video, if any of you would like to get Mega Man X Dive offline, uh, you can do so from my Nexus CG account. You can also get any other uh, Capcom affiliated games there, and doing so from there actually ends up helping me out a little bit. So if you'd like to purchase the game and uh, simultaneously help me out a little bit, uh, you can do so down there. I'll leave the link for that down below in the description. All right, from my setup, I'm using a White Day Axle, the Shooting Dragon Buster, and end up switching to the Freezing Dominator over the Ultimate Blast. Uh, and for my card setup, I'm just using the standard bat, double baton setup with a green card, uh, just so that I have extra healing in case I do need the healing. All right, so jumping into the stage here. Uh, this thing is actually pretty straightforward. Not really too much to, to go into here. I believe there are a few more things you need. Uh, but coming up right here on the first conveyor belt, here is the first piece of candy that you need to pick up. I'm going to pick that up uh, and continue on uh, a little bit here. Uh, the next uh, collectible that we will need to get is just after this drop down here. There is going to be a horse battle section. Uh, and once we enter this horse battle section right here, uh, after a bit of time, a little box is going to drop. I'm going to destroy the box. And once you destroy that box... Uh, you're going to get the first heart you need to do, do a little uh, little tea bag there to kind of just make sure that you see before I pick it up. And after we finish up this section here, uh, the piece of candy drops on your head. You might not have been able to see it since it happened so quickly, but if you're standing in the middle, it will drop on your head. Now, uh, for the next section, you're actually on a time limit uh, right here. Um, uh, pretty sure, I think it's like 40 seconds or something. Uh, we'll see in a second. 42 seconds. And you need to beat this boss in 42 seconds. Uh, this is the regular, what is it, the, like the RTJ or whatever. You need to jump up in there, hit it like in its upper body. Uh, I get grabbed a few times. Not that big of a deal. Um, I'm just going to keep jumping up here and hitting it in the head because uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only way to damage it. Uh, it's just a palace off of the other one, the other green one. And uh, once you do that, uh, you get another piece of candy here. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up. Then you're going to jump up to the left-hand side up here. It's a conveyor belt. We have the heart. Uh, that is while you are timed. If you do not beat that boss within a time limit, um, the conveyor belt actually crushes the heart. And uh, you're down one heart. Now, there is an extra one in the stage that you can get. Um, but I did want to make sure I tried to show off uh, show off that one. Now, the next portion right here. Force battle right after you get the right armor. You don't even need the right armor, really. Just walk through the, the chocolate lava. But uh, that caused a lot of damage. And after a bit of time here in this force battle section, you get another piece of candy right there. So we're going to pick that up, and we're going to head on here. Uh, and then just shortly after this here, I'm just taking my time. I'm destroying some of the uh, enemies here, which I don't need to do. And there'll be another box. After we destroy this box, we get another heart there. So uh, that is heart number three. Uh, if you missed a, uh, the previous one, it would be heart number two. Uh, but I believe there is another, I believe there are two more hearts, or at least one more heart you can get in this upcoming fight here. So, here is the boss. Uh, I don't remember the name of this boss, but it is, it's the same boss as the uh, the defense ship that I have on right now, on my Spire. Um, the giant, giant Mechanoid, that's the name. Uh, right off the bat, you want to kind of drop down here uh, in a second, you'll see right there, a piece of candy, so now we're at five pieces of candy. Then you want to come over to the right hand side a little bit here while, while shipping the boss down. Uh, because a heart will actually drop like this, so be sure to pick that up. I don't remember if one drops on the right-hand side during this at some point either. Uh, I think there's only one extra heart um, from what I can, uh, what I've been playing, because I haven't seen any, uh, the other one. Uh, but from this point onward, you're just gonna want to take the boss out, which is pretty easy, you know, in challenge mode. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for this stage here. And here I just cut away so that you can see the ending results screen. You're still going to have to watch the explosion and the loadout there. Uh, and that is it for this stage. Now, because it's an offline version, I'm just showing off the rewards here. If you've got an online version, rewards will be quite a bit different. Um, but it'll be basically the same. You know, you get your you get your points, you click the rewards tab, and then, um, you know, you pick up uh, whatever rewards you may have, whether it be um, elemental medals, cards, and things like that. Uh, but yeah, that's it for this video here. 
if you enjoyed this video, this video helped you out a little bit, I appreciate it. If you guys could go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Follow the channel. Help to go share me the content. And real quick, right before the video ends, I want to give a shout out to my patrons and those of you who have joined us YouTube channel members. Thank you for supporting me monetarily. Uh, if you'd like to support me monetarily, you can find information down below on how to uh, do that while getting some extra benefits in the process. And I'll catch you guys next time. Later. Thank you.